right now we have the 60s from the 60s exhibit at the library and Austin Fashion Week uh, had this great idea to team up and ask some really wonderful local designers to create dresses that are sort of modeled after some of my grandmother's dresses from the 60s. For someone who wasn't thought of as sort of a fashion maven, she really had some beautiful, beautiful pieces and, and sort of very keeping true to her, sort of fairly simple, um, fairly modest, but really sort of, she has a lot of yellow and just some really great pieces. This is the dress that, I don't know if you can see this, that my mother wore when she and my father announced their engagement to the press back in 1967. I actually have been lucky enough over the years to have worn a number of my grandmother's dresses at various events, and so I'm going to change into one later. I was just up in D.C. and was talking to my mom, and she said, oh, let me go get this dress, and you know, wear this one too. So I'm pretending that I am a model for the night and trying on two dresses. We were honored. We created a piece that a first lady would have used today. So it's not an easy test and we're super happy that it worked out. We went through several of her designs when we saw this beautiful paisley dress that made us think about how the world looked several years ago. The colors, the style, the etiquette that Lady Bird used to have since a young child is completely represented today. I was very, very close to my grandmother and had a really good relationship with her as, as we all did. And so, well, I'd rather be here with her in her dress, sort of talking to her. It's really fun to get to see her dresses and to sort of see how people have interpreted sort of, I guess, sort of who she was and sort of what she might look like if she was, you know, wearing these outfits today. So I, I look at the dresses and I wasn't around then to see her in them at the time, but I've seen the pictures and, you know, they just sort of bring back memories to me of, of being with her and of going into her closet and trying on dresses and her saying, oh, you know, you know, honey child, you just look so nice in that one. And, you know, I mean, I could sort of hear her in my head.